Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number two. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel comics being released February 27th, 2013. Beginning alphabetically with Astonishing X-Men number 59. Back from their honeymoon, Northstar and Kyle face a threat at home, while Northstar faces another threat all on his own. And deep in space, something is coming that might literally tear the team apart. We've also got Avengers Arena number 5, The Braddock Academy vs. Themselves. We've got Avenging Spider-Man number 17, The Superior Age Continues as Superior Spider-Man Faces the Future, the future foundation, that is. The superior Spider-Man is forced to work with the FF as the literal future comes crashing in on them, threatening to destroy the foundation itself and expose Spider-Man's ultimate secret. Plus, the superior Spider-Man doesn't like kids. We've got Castle, A Calm Before the Storm, number three of five, the comic book inspired by the hit ABC show Castle. As the international situation in New York continues to degrade, Derek Storm reaches out to the one person who may be able to help him, his former handler, Clara Strike. But even if she responds, will she be with him or against him? We've got Deadpool Killustrated number 2 of 4. Deadpool continues slaughtering all your favorite literary characters. Tom Sawyer slashed in twain. The little women's throats may get all cut. Why read a book when you can watch a book die? We've got FF number 4. It's Valentine's Day at the Baxter Building, so why does that spell trouble for She-Hulk? We've got Gambit number 9. Gambit's hot on the heels of the lady thief who first crossed his path in issue number 1. But what secret is she hiding that may just spell doom for our hero? And how will he manage to steal her away from the horde of supervillains she's surrounded herself with? We've got Guardians of the Galaxy number 0.1. Move over, Avengers. The Guardians got this. Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, and the Invincible Iron Man? The Marvel Universe just got bigger as the legendary cosmic epic returns into the hands of superstar creators Brian Michael Bendis and Steve McNiven. In this special prelude issue, meet the man behind the Guardians, Star-Lord, and discover how this child of Earth became the leader of the ragtaggiest of teams in all the galaxy. All setting the stage for next month's historic Guardians of the Galaxy number 1. This is the start of something big, Marvel fans. We've also got Hawkeye number 8. Cherry's got a gun, and she looks good in it. Hawkeye gets distracted just like you are right now. We've got Journey into Mystery number 649, guest starring the superior Spider-Man and a collection of superstars from the Marvel Universe firmament. Ancient Viking monsters, eerily familiar freaks, whatever they are, they're invading Mygard. Sif and her three hench berserkers slither back to Earth in time to help put down this new assault. But can the berserkers keep their bloodlust in check? We've got Marvel Universe Ultimate Spider-Man number 11. Leaping off of Disney XD and into your hands, it's the ultimate Spider-Man. It's intergalactic mayhem when Spider-Man takes on the Super Scroll for the fate of the galaxy. Then Spidey's got to put the brakes on a group of super skaters. Next, we've got Punisher Warzone number 5 of 5. Greg Rucka's powerful run comes to an end. It's time for the Punisher to face his punishment. We've got Thunderbolts number 5. The return of the gamma-powered madman. The Thunderbolts' first mission is going off the rails. Can the team trust the Red Hulk to lead them? We've got Ultimate Comics X-Men number 23 by Brian Wood. Natural Resources begins. The start of an all-new arc. How much is a superpower worth? The Mutant Nation has a new enemy. Itself. And we've got Uncanny Avengers number 4. Red Skull and his S-Men move forward their takeover of New York. A member of the Uncanny Avengers joins the S-Men. When the chips are down, the fight all but lost, one Avenger must rise and face the terrible might of the Omega Skull. We've got Uncanny X-Force number 2. Bishop vs. Uncanny X-Force, what secrets does the man with the M on his face bring from the future? We've got Uncanny X-Men number 2, there's a mole on Cyclops' team, but who is it? When you hunt the Uncanny X-Men, you use Sentinels, but when you find out who's doing the hunting, your jaw will drop. We've got X-Men Legacy number 6, the groundbreaking first arc of X-Men Legacy ends here. Discovering a plot to assassinate one of the X-Men that he inadvertently put into motion, Legion infiltrates the Jean Grey School for Higher Learning. But after their last run-in, will the X-Men accept his help? Meanwhile, Legion learns the demon lurking in the depths of his psyche has a familiar face. We've got Extreme X-Men number 11. After the events of their last mission, something is off about Xavier. Will the team be able to close the tears between dimensions without him? Plus, romance is in the air, or it could be if Dazzler and Cyclops don't kill each other first. And we've got Young Avengers number 2. His Wiccan made a horrible mistake that comes back to bite everyone on their communal posteriors? Spoilers, yes. Does this guest star the Uncanny Avengers? Spoilers, also yes. A figure from Loki's past emerges. Friend? Foe? What will it be? Spoilers, it's a foe. And much more from Marvel's most critically acclaimed book. Yes, we're saying it's critically acclaimed and it's not even out yet. We're very bad. 
Out in trades this week, we've got Astonishing X-Men Volume 10 North Star trade paperback. The Marauders return with a vengeance when Chimera leads a deadly squad against the X-Men. Karma discovers an unknown but incredibly powerful telepath is controlling their assailants, and Wolverine leads his team on an investigation that puts their minds and hearts to the ultimate test. When a psychic ambush puts the X-Men against their teammate Northstar, he learns the true meaning of devotion, as his boyfriend Kyle holds a gun to his head. Northstar's decision in the face of death will lead him to the wedding that the world's been waiting for, if he can survive a harrowing battle against the teammates and the love of his life. Collects Astonishing X-Men 48-51, to Alpha Flight 106, and material from Nation X number 2. Next, we've got Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 4 hardcover, Nelson and Murdoch No More. It's a turning point in the lives of Marvel's most famous legal team as Foggy discovers a shocking secret Matt's been keeping, and he doesn't take it well. Then it's the return of someone Matt thought was gone forever, and the debut of a new menace in New York, the killer called Coyote. Daredevil's newest threat is not what Matt expects, but then again... Just how sane is Matt Murdock right now anyway? The streets of New York run red with blood as Matt's mind unravels under the coyotes' created chaos. And it all ends with Daredevil Wanted by the NYPD. Collects Daredevil number 16 through 21. We've got Marvel Masterworks Captain Marvel Volume 1 trade paperback. Look out! Captain Marvel the Spaceborn Superhero is coming at you as scintillating superhero sci-fi adventures. Branded a traitor by the vicious Colonel Yon Rog for defending the people of Earth, Creek Captain Marvell assumes the human identity of Walter Lawson and becomes our planet's protector against an awesome array of interstellar enemies. The massive Sentry number 459, the Savage Super Scroll, Prince Namor the Submariner, and Quasimodo the Living Computer all wage war against Captain Marvel here in his first adventures. Of course, there's plenty of drama, too with the lovely Medic Una and Carol Danvers each catching the Cree Captain's eye. Crafted by top talents of the Marvel Age, this one's certifiably out of this world. Collects Marvel Super Heroes number 12 and 13, and Captain Marvel number 1 through 9. We've got Marvel Noir, Wolverine and the X-Men trade paperback, The Marvel Universe, Shot in Noir. Hard-boiled, hard-drinking private eye Jim Logan is the best there is at what he does, and when Mariko Yoshida saunders into his office, he knows she's trouble when he sees it. It's the case of Logan's career if he survives. Meanwhile, discredited quack Charles Xavier rots in jail. He used to train desperate teens into canny grifters, but now one of his X-Men, Jean Grey, is dead, and corrupt police chief Eric Magnus is closing in on the rest. Then Logan, Cyclops, and the Avenging Angel find the gem of Sidorak in the stinking jungles of Madripoor, but all it's done is put a target on their backs. And what kind of monster is Nightcrawler? Collects X-Men Noir 1-4, through four, Wolverine Noir 1 through 4, X Men Noir Mark of Cain 1 through 4, and Weapon X Noir number 1. We've got New Avengers by Brian Michael Bendis, Volume 5, hardcover. It's the final story arc for longtime Avenger writer Brian Michael Bendis. Now that the New Avengers sacrificed all they had to fight the Phoenix, many are asking hard questions. Is it time for the team to call it quits? Meanwhile, one of the New Avengers' deadliest foes returns, hatching an elaborate plot for revenge that throws the team into disarray. What does the future hold for the New Avengers? Is there a future? Plus, a Sorcerer Supreme ascends, but who will be the new master of Marvel magic, and what sacrifice will they have to make to achieve such power? An explosive ending to one of Marvel's longest-running stories. Collects New Avengers number 31 to 34. We've got Spider-Man, The Death of Gene DeWolf trade paperback, new printing. He's the Sin Eater, the man who takes the world's sins for himself by killing every sinner he sees, and he sees them everywhere. But the lethal lunatic bites off more than he can chew when he robs Spider-Man of a dear friend, Police Captain Gene DeWolf. How can the grieving hero track down a villain with targets everywhere he goes? Join the wall crawler for a frantic search through New York City that culminates in a pivotal moment between Manhattan's two biggest solo stars, Spidey and Daredevil, collecting Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider-Man number 107 to 110 and 134 to 136. We've got X-Men Wolverine Gambit trade paperback, new printing, the titanic team of Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale from Spider-Man Blue, Hulk Gray, and Batman The Long Halloween take on the X-Men's two most dangerous mutants in this international thriller that brings Wolverine and Gambit to the shores of England. There's a serial killer tearing through London, leaving beautiful young women as his victims. Do these brutal slayings mark the return of the 19th century serial killer known as Jack the Ripper, or could one of the X-Men be the real killer? Wolverine is the prime subject, and Gambit is out to prove him guilty. But now they're grudgingly forced to work together in order to find the truth without killing each other. It's a fast-paced murder mystery that will keep you guessing right up until the last page. Collects Wolverine Gambit Victims, 
number one through four. And last, we've got Extreme X-Men Volume 1, Xavier Must Die trade paperback. Spinning out of the pages of Astonishing X-Men, travel the multiverse with Dazzler, Captain Hallett, Kid Nightcrawler, and Emmeline Frost, lost between dimensions with no way home, as the ad hoc X-Men target evil versions of Professor X. As Dazzler adjusts to life, dimension hopping on the run, and butts heads with Hallett over leadership of the team, the Xavier farm warns of universe-destroying trouble. But when the jump goes wrong, will the whole team make it into the next dimension? Then the X-Men find themselves in a frontier reality where outlaws rule and Hallett comes face to face with the younger version of himself. And when the Xavier gang attacks, Dazzler faces Cyclops, the deadliest gunslinger in the West. Will the team be able to save this reality, or will they have to abandon it to save their own skins? Collects Extreme X-Men number 1 through 5. Okay, so that's it for Marvel for this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He'sGotIssues.com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.